Good afternoon, everybody. This is Roman from Levittown. How are you doing today? Happy Wednesday. It's a great day. It's sunny outside. Not too hot yet, but very good day. I hope everybody is doing well and healthy and safe. Uh, I hope everybody is done with their work for today. Even if not, but you still can listen to me. That will be great. I'm going to share something that is very important, in my opinion, to many people to understand and to open up their eyes, ears, and minds. So we'll give just another second for people to join us and we will begin. If you guys see that this information is uh, useful or it's not, you know somebody who can benefit from it, please feel free to share. It's my pleasure to be here and help uh, others as much as I can. Okay, so I see people joining, so we're going to start now. And what I'm going to speak with, uh, with you today about is something that came uh, to me as an idea, and the idea is uh, continuing our topic for this week as to self-development and why people do not uh, reach their goals. One of the things that stops them is believing that they have too much knowledge. And knowledge can help or knowledge can hurt. And um, what I thought about it, when I thought about it, I figured let me bring this in as a topic for our discussion today and I collected a bunch of you know, uh, quotes as you see behind me. So we'll go one by one and, uh, and express them and try to understand where is the mistake or disconnect between uh, our beliefs and the reality or how we can uh, each other uh, to benefit from, from common knowledge from people around us. So the first quote I put here is measure of intelligence is the ability to change by Albert Einstein. And basically why I put this one as an opening quote, because many people believe I know a lot, so I'm a very intelligent person, but knowing a lot and being able to actually understand what's going on in the world is not the same thing. Moreover, people who know a lot and they kind of close their brain and saying, okay, now I know everything, but the science are not stopping, the world is developing. So let me give you an example. In the beginning of the uh, 20th century, people knew about telegraph. And for those who are younger generation, you may not even know what it is. Uh, that was the messages that were sent via wires and they were typed in by the machines and delivered to people on a piece of paper. So uh, then, if and that was the true information, right? There was like phone and telegraph and obviously letters. If the person living in that time would say, this is my world, this is what I believe in. And by some miracle, they end up here in 21st century or even in the end of 20th century. So pretty much just within the same century, just got jump over 60, 70 years. And you would say, oh, we have the cell phones. And they would say, no, it's not true. It does not exist. It cannot exist. So. In their opinion, and in their time, there is only phone that is cord with cords or telegraph or obviously handwritten letters. There is nothing else, no other means of communication. You say, no, here is cell phone, I hold it and then say, no, 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 it cannot be. So the pe people who have knowledge, but they stop learning or they close their uh, eyes and ears, they cannot be called intelligence because they pretty much uh, deny the progress they deny the development of the society and people and information so that cannot be called intelligent the fact that you know a lot doesn't mean anything you have to be knowing a lot and be, be able to and open to learn more and to understand that some beliefs from before uh, have changed i'll give you another example when i went to the school and uh, when i was a baby we were told one plus one is two three plus three is six and ten plus ten is 20. Then I went to the high school and I was told that if you multiply 10 uh, by 50 million, it will be 500 million. But if you need to add numbers with the, uh, uh, the bigger numbers, then and you have to add to that bigger number, smaller number, let's say 500 million, and you add another 10, you can just disregard the 10 because it's too small to that amount. And I was first saying, wait a second, how can you disregard something? Method is a direct uh, 
exact signs and now we disregard the peers of, of the equation and I was told that's fine to do so because again in a great scheme 500 million and 10 is just nothing so if I would say no 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 you cannot do it then I would not pass my my class so we have to be able to uh, open to change uh, so the next quote is here my uh, a mind is like a parachute it does not work if it's not open so guess what that's exactly what I was just talking about by Frank Zappa by the way I uh, if you close up your mind you cannot accept any more information you're not living in today's uh, in yesterday's information your mind is worthless it cannot adjust it cannot change it cannot develop anything new and obviously you can live in the past but we all go into the future so it's better to be open to the future the next one is very important and this one actually comes from my martial arts experience when we come to class and it either class with other teacher or a seminar or whenever I'm not the teacher I come to class with so-called beginner's mind it's a Zen um, idea and uh, it pretty much means you come in with a blank piece of paper in your mind even though you know something just leave it alone and let the other information to come in you can always later to parse it and decide what's needed what's not needed but as you come in you're not coming in with your own knowledge you come in with knowledge with an idea that you want to learn so here's what uh, this quote says in the beginner's mind there are many possibilities in the expert's mind there are few Shunryu Suzuki so that's exactly what I mean a person comes to class or to dojo to train and he has that open mind beginner's mind he can explore different ideas and try to see how many possibilities are there when you come with the mind of expert and we know this much then there's no room to the right or to the left it's only that and once we do that we pretty much lock ourselves in the box and we're not allowing ourselves to to advance so again many people i speak with right now they saying oh i know this and it's not working or that's uh not true and I say, wait a second, but do you want to really understand what I'm talking about? Because it may be something that you knew before, but it could have changed. Uh, people change. Like, uh, you know a person, and the person is a very good person. You meet them 20 years later, and they're criminal. Or vice versa. The criminal goes to jail, goes through the correction uh, program, whatever the education, and comes out and becomes a punk and helps people. So we cannot just say, oh, I know this. It never changes. That's not true. And we all know this, so why why be like that? Moving on, uh, Aristotle said that for the things we have to learn before we can do them, we learn by doing them. Meaning, we cannot say, oh, I don't know this, I'm not going to do it. A baby, when he or she is born, first actually sleeps, and that's all they do, they sleep, they eat, they pee and poop, Later they start to crawl. Do they really know how to crawl when they were born? No. Did they know how to learn it? No, they just learned by doing so. Then baby comes up and try to walk. Do they know how to walk? No. Do they know how to learn how to walk? No, they just doing it and by doing so they learn it. Same thing with the martial arts. You come to the dojo, you don't know how to do the technique, doesn't mean you don't do it. You listen to the teacher, you get some basic idea, and you start doing it. Same true to any kind of activity the human being does for the first time. And the other quote is going to the same, uh, same idea. If somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure you can do it, say yes, then learn how to do it later. See Richard Branson. And you know, this guy definitely know what he's talking about. So let's uh, come back to what I'm in. I have been promoting. I've promoted a healthy, li healthy lifestyle and the business opportunity attached to it. So by helping somebody else to be healthy, by keeping yourself in good shape, we're actually able to make money. And I think this is very admirable and this is very fair business to be in. You delivering the value to other people, other people happy, they become better. And as a result, you get compensated. It's not vice versa, they're not paying you first, and then you don't do something or maybe not even do something right there are a lot uh, as an attorney i hear a lot of stories 
compliance and come and say, I paid this attorney X number of dollars and he or she did nothing for me. So I think that's unfair. You pay in advance and the person doesn't perform, but it's really now a legal battle to get the money back. In our situation, people come to us, we give them information, we give them uh, tools that they need to get better. And they do, because if you follow the instructions, if you follow the rules, if you follow um, the procedure or the system that we promoted, there is no way you will not. It's really impossible, okay? Because the system is based on our anatomy and our physiology. So moving on. Uh, experience is the best teacher, Penelope Douglas. Why am I getting to the experience? Uh, because right now we have a lot of, uh, pretty much like flood of uh, instructors, gurus, saying, if you pay me this, I, I, you will be that. And, and they all saying, just pay me and you will be. Here is the kicker. They saying, pay me. And then you will see what happens. Those people not necessarily know what they're talking about. They may know, but they never done it themselves. Or many may, may know they've done it itself, but it doesn't mean that it applies or it works for everybody. Because everything has to be tested and has to be tested over a period of time on multiple different kinds of people. So again, um, what I'm uh, sharing right now, what I'm promoting is tested by over, uh, over the 20 years period and uh, on, on millions of people who've done it from age zero to age uh, 80 and 90 years old. So all range of people, male and female, fitness uh, experts, uh, uh, athletes, and just regular people gone through these programs and all reported 100%, they got results, as long as, and only those who actually followed the system and did it correctly. I cannot say for people who didn't follow the system or who didn't do it correctly, because obviously, again, if you have an instructions, how to use your car or printer or computer and you do it in the opposite direction your device or whatever is going to fail you and you cannot blame the device it's like uh, you go to the master uh, i don't know master artist and steal their uh, brushes and then you think now you're a master artist no the brushes is only a tool but the artist is the one who creates the masterpiece so the master has his system or his uh, skill and by getting the tool you, you're not becoming the master yet you have to still acquire the skills and you have to acquire the the system so what we're giving we're actually giving people system and with the system we're giving people tools and on top of that we're giving people our guidance meaning you're not alone with our products and with our system we get in every day or whenever you need our uh, guidance on what you have to do, when you have to do it, and how you have to do it, and that guarantees your results. Now, you can say, oh, I don't want to follow the rules, and then, hey, that's on you. If you don't want to follow the rules, you cannot expect the rules to protect you. We live in America here, and in America is a very funny society. When I went to law school, I was very confused about it. Here's why. If you follow the rules, the law protects you. If you don't follow the rules, meaning you're a criminal, the law protects you even more. So people who are violating law are more protected than people who are not. And that was driving me crazy. This is one of the reasons I could not really do anything that relates to criminal law because I felt that I would not be able to defend people who did something wrong and try to do my best to make sure their rights are protected because I would feel that this is wrong. Even though, yes, we all have civil rights and, and whatever, but in my gut feeling was, if you did something wrong, you have to be uh, punished for that. And um, again, this is just my, <laughs> my sentiment, so let's uh, skip it. But here's the idea. If you follow the instruction, if you use the right tools, if you use the right guidance, you will be successful. And it's better to learn from people who have experience than from people who just learned and never done them themselves or maybe never needed themselves so that's very important and the last thing and this is actually comes to a uh, very same idea i just mentioned no matter how long you train one to be brave you never know if they are or not until something real happens so 
it applies to bravery, but let's speak about anything, any kind of knowledge. You can train person a lot, or I'm giving this example to my students all the time. It doesn't matter how many Aikido books you read and videos you watch. When you come on the mat, you're not a great teacher and you're not a great master and you cannot do Aikido just by watching videos or reading books. You have to actually come on the mat and practice those things you've seen on the videos and the book and then you can become a master. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I'm talking from my experience. Reading the books, watching videos is nothing until you take what you read on the mat and practice it many, many, many times. So bringing this back home, uh, first people have to open up their minds. They should not say, I know this already, don't talk to me about it, I, I don't want to know. Because that shows their ignorance. That shows their unintelligence. Second, uh, when you are opening your mind, be able and be willing to change. Change yourself by changing your opinion, by changing the ways you do things, by changing um, your attitude towards other people. One of the other teachers that I have, uh, 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 Alexei Lukonin, he says that in uh, human society, the highest level of maturity is ability to accept other people's opinion. So you, what I'm trying to say, you don't have to agree with every single opinion, but you have to respect every single opinion. And if you are a person of open mind, just hear the opinion first and then decide for yourself, would you agree with it or not? Again, you don't have to agree, but each opinion has its place in life. So make sure you allow that. So when we're talking about people who trained a lot, but never done something or trained a lot, but don't have the firsthand experience, then think twice if you want to learn from those people or you want to learn from people who have experience, who have done it. Our team has been doing it for years and have success in many countries around the world. And I'm learning from those people and I'm sharing what I've learned already and what I've done myself. So it's very important to understand that open mind is key to improvement and to intelligence. Um, respect other people and their opinions, no matter what they are. You don't have to be rude or dismissive of these people. And three, learn from people who have experience who've done things uh, that they're talking about, and then you will be successful as well. I hope this information is uh, useful and benefits you or somebody else you know, and obviously please share this information with others. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below or reach out to me directly with a messenger. And I'm looking forward to be here tomorrow at 5.15 p.m. We'll continue with some ideas I have, and obviously the business and uh, health idea that I'm talking about. I really want uh, as many people as possible to know about this opportunity. It really leads to a healthy life without changing the, uh, the life style tremendously. There is really small adjust adjustment that we are suggesting people to do, but it leads to big change eventually over time. It doesn't, doesn't happen overnight. If somebody offers you a super tool that will fix you forever, once and for all, that's a lot. It's not going to happen. You go to a surgery, it fixes you. It can occur again. The same problem can occur again. So the surgery will not fix everything. Uh, please uh, be uh, open-minded. Think critically. Ask questions. Thank you so much for watching. Be well. Stay uh, safe. And be back tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.